All right, welcome grade uh, 12s to the tariff uh, structure involving a cell phone contract. All right, so if you look at the advertisement on the left, we see um, a sales a cell C um, cell phone contract where you pay 699 for 24 months. All right, you can choose any of these um, devices at the bottom in this contract, but uh, we want to also focus on this part. In this contract, you get 1,000 minutes of airtime for free as part of the contract. So the 1,000 minutes is free. All right, so now we need to calculate a tariff for different options. So we're looking at different options depending on um, how many minutes of airtime a person would use. All right, so let's get started. Let's uh, answer the question on the right. So you want to fill in this table by determining how much a person would pay uh, depending on how many minutes of airtime they've used in that month. All right, let's start at zero. How much would a person pay if they do not use any minutes? Of a time, obviously they will just pay the six hundred and ninety nine for the contract. How much would they pay if they use five hundred minutes of air time? They will still pay six hundred and ninety nine. Why? Because they are with, they are still within the three minutes. They have not exceeded the one thousand four minutes, so they still um, have not used up all the three minutes. All right, uh, another thousand still because the thousand minutes is free. So if they use up a thousand minutes, they're not going to pay for any minutes. They will only pay the six ninety nine for the contract. So after one thousand minutes, then the person will start paying. So if the person uses one thousand five hundred minutes, the question becomes: How much will they pay in that month? Of course, they will pay. The six hundred and ninety nine for the contract plus remember if you look at the bottom of the advertisement, you are told that cell C charges two rent per minute. So if the person uh, then uses one thousand five hundred minutes uh, in a particular month, remember they're not going to pay for uh, the other one thousand because it's free. So of those one thousand five hundred minutes, they will only pay for five hundred minutes. The other 1,000 is free. All right, so if you work that out, so you've got 699 plus 2 rand per minute multiply by 500 minutes. So then the person would pay 1,699 if they use um, 1,500 minutes. What if they used 2,000 minutes in that month? Again, remember they will still pay for the contract because the contract is every month. And now how many minutes are they paying for? Remember the other 1,000 is free. So if they use 2,000, they will only pay for 1,000 minutes. So they only pay for 1,000. The other 1,000 is free. So let's just make some adjustments. So for 2,000 uh, minutes, the person will pay 2,699. If the person uses 2,500 minutes, of course the 699 is fixed, they will pay 2 rand per minute. Now the question becomes, if they use 2,500 minutes, how many of those minutes do they pay for? They only pay for 1,500 minutes, remember? The other 1,000 minutes are free. So uh, then this person, if that is the option, they've used 2,500 minutes, then they would pay. All right. All right, so then they would pay 
3,699. If they use 2,500 minutes. As always, keep in mind that some of the minutes are given and the minutes that are given are free. So whenever you're calculating the, uh, the amount that must be paid uh, for minutes, you must always subtract the 1,000 minutes that is given for free. All right, so uh, number two. All right, so for number two, we are asked to find the equation. This would basically be the cost equation uh, for the tariff structure above. So the cost in rents is equal to, remember, 699 you must pay no matter what is fixed, plus you will pay two rents, all right? But the minutes that you pay for are the minutes that exceed the 1,000 free minutes. So it has minus the 1,000 free minutes. And so that would be your equation. All right. So moving on to the next part of the question. Okay. So for question three, we have to find A. And as you can see, this is an inverse question because uh, we have to work backwards. We are given the cost and we are told the cost is 5,699, but we don't know for how many minutes. So then we have to work backwards to calculate A. All right, so what we'll do is we'll substitute everything into the equation. The cost we know is 5,699 is equal to 699. Then we're going to multiply into the equation. So you have two rand uh, per minute minus 2,000 because 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. All right, remember we are trying to determine the minutes. So everything else we must get rid of. So we can take it over the other side of the equation. So... The 699 is being added. We can subtract it on the other side. The 2000 is being subtracted, so we can add it on the other side of the equation. So that on the right, you're only left with minutes. So 2 right per minute. Okay, so let's work that uh, out. So the left-hand side of the equation can calculate this way. And this will give us 7,000. All right, so the left-hand side of the equation is equal to 7,000. And then on the right, we've got two rands uh, per minute. Now what we can do, because we want to know how many minutes uh, a represents, we can divide both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, and 7,000 divided by 2 will give us 3,500 rands. All right, so then A represents 3,500 minutes. All right, I will advise you to also go see my video on inverses if you don't quite understand how to simplify inverses. All right, moving on to the last part uh, of the video. All right, so for the last part of the tutorial, um, we had to draw a graph, but I've already drawn this graph um, for you using Excel. Um, I'm not going to focus so much on drawing the graph. If you need to uh, practice drawing a graph, please go see uh, the cost and income tariff video. Uh, in that video, I draw a graph. I'll try to put that also in the description of this video. But what I want you to focus on when you look at this graph is that since the first 1,000 minutes are free, so the graph will be the same. As you can see in the table also, it will always be six, uh, 699 until you finish those three minutes. Right? It's only after 1,000 minutes, after the three minutes, that the graph will start increasing. Right, as you can see, otherwise it remains the same until you use up the three minutes. You only pay the, for the contract, you only pay $6.99, the fixed uh, amount, 
but it only starts being variable after you have used up those three minutes. All right, so um, in case you have to draw this yourself, uh, that's what you have to remember is that if there are any three minutes of airtime, that graph will be flat until those uh, three minutes are used up and then it will start being uh, variable. So 600 to 99, that's the fixed value and it will remain fixed up until 1000. And when you reach uh, 1000, then the graph will begin um, will begin to vary. All right, um, that's the end of uh, this uh, tariff video on cell phone contracts. Thank you, grade 12s.